one year, I think it was like three years ago, I was in Los Angeles and it was Oscar season. And every year, Madonna's manager, this guy called Guy Osiri, puts on a party at his house in Hollywood Hills. And so I went to this party. I think I went with Mark Ronson. I think he invited me. Um, anyway, it was up in the hills and it was super glamorous. I walked in, like everybody, it was everybody was there. Jay-Z, Beyonce, they were I mean, everyone. Had a, had a few drinks, having quite a nice time. And I spotted this guy that I knew from London. He was like a host of a sort of trendy nightclub there, whose name I can't remember now. But anyway, I saw him and I was you know, standing by a fountain or something and he came over and was like, oh, you know, how are you, blah, blah, blah. I said, yeah, I'm very, very well, thank you very much. And then Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis came over and joined this conversation. And this guy went, Ashton, Mila, have you met Rita, Rita Ora? <laughs> And I was so embarrassed <laughs> that I went along with it. Because <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I was like, no, 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 I'm the other English person with blonde hair. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was really, really highly embarrassing. But then the guy went away. I was talking to Ashton Kutcher and me, the Kunis, as Rita Ora. And, um, and the guy came back and he was like, I just saw Ricky, your boyfriend at the bar. I tell him where you are. I was like, fuck, I've got to get out of here now. <laughs> Before he comes over and it's like, this is not real at all. <laughs> yeah, no, I had to leave. I was so embarrassed. Not that there's anything wrong with Rita Ora, but you know what I mean. It was just like, you know, it was, I don't know. It's just one of those lies.